I remember one time when I knew I was doing the right thing, I bought an Egyptian lever 12 inch called uh, um, Egypt Egypt. And this time I took the bus to the record store. And when I got on the bus, you know, the girls like were on the bus and they were like, yeah, uh, what's that in your hand? And so, yeah, this is the Egyptian lover record. And it just seemed like, you know, being the fact that girls mature more, they like seemed like they appreciated the fact that like a, a kid, like, or a cat, like, you know, like just were into music. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of, I, I knew I was kind of like on the right path of, you know, the seal of approval by the neighborhood young ladies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I stuck with that, you know, you can have your footballs, you know what I'm saying, it's all good. <laughs> Those kind of days influenced me like, this is it, you know what I'm saying? This is the sound that I like. Like I said, it's one of those things that nobody wants to talk about. But it's like, we saw this like orange, like circle orb thing flying over the trees, right? But on Sundays, cats would like get together and like, you know, the, the cars and barbecue and chill, you know, listen to Gap Band, you know, that kind of stuff. You're gonna be in love, just chill, you know, laid back. I mean, a lot of maze, Frankie Beverly and maze, you know. You know um, I saw this thing and like a few people I was with him. You know, it was just like weird, but then like certain people that you're around, like it's not really like cool to like acknowledge, you know, anything different, you know what I'm saying? But I remembered it and it was just a special day. And it happened at a park called Brookside Park. When I made the music recently, I just wanted to put myself in that, that vibe. The way the sun shined that day, the way that it was like kind of hazy, the way it was like comfortable, you know what I'm saying? It was like, and then something like that could happen amongst like cats. Like they weren't really banging, but there was a hood element, you know what I'm saying, around because that's the people who went to that section of the park. Brookside is a big park, but it was a certain section of this bridge that people used to hang out on. The Suzuki Zamorais and those kind of cars, low riders, that people really in LA, you know, are, are in tune to like fixing their cars up. And that's where you would go on Sunday, to like, you know, let your car be waxed and seen. You know? And that's why the lyrics are like Brookside Park. I never forget the, the way that the sun shine there. Brookside Park. If you were there, you know. Brookside Park. Gangsters and UFOs. Brookside Park. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to put something out there a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's what explains Brookside Park, man. I would never compare myself to the great artist that Sunrise is, but I just consider myself to be me. I travel in my own lane, but it's like um, I do consider my music to be made in the essence of where I would like other beings, if they ever do decide to stop by this planet, wherever they are able to archive and get my stuff to like contribute to like the progression or or reaching out deeper into music from the uh, black experience and all of our experience you know what I mean I'm making music for for those beings out there if they ever decide to stop by this planet but they won't unfortunately because we're still so primitive I would couldn't imagine them stopping by you know what I'm saying if they if they would be a fool to stop by this planet we're not ready you know what I'm saying we still have petty um, battles with each other we're not evolved enough but my music hopefully can be something that you know would influence the next generation you know to contribute to those kind of things you know and uh, and make progressive um, expressions of art and uh, and that's what, what I'm trying to do my dream lineup would be Steve Arrington up there on vocals and drums uh, myself on keyboards, uh, Night Jewel on vocals, and Flying Lotus on the beat. Yeah, and that would be something interesting, you know, but then of course I have a whole bunch of other cats that I would like to have, like, you know, Junie Morrison up there with me, you know, um, uh, involved with Devin Prince on lead guitar, um, you know, that would be an incredible situation right there. And Stevie Nicks up there as well on vocals and, and doing some things. So, and, and even Patrice Russian on stage, you know, and Shaka Khan coming out and rocking a couple special guest drums. 
But uh, and then you know the band, uh, you know, helping me out in, in expressing, you know, some of the things I want to express as well for the people. That's what Dreamliner would be.